Winnipeggers are gathering here at the Canadian Museum for Human Rights, many bringing sunflowers and tokens of support for the ongoing war in Ukraine. This is uh, an event called Sunflowers for Ukraine, uh, and the purpose really is uh, during this solemn time to have an opportunity for the community to get together and to sort of pay respects to uh, the victims of uh, Russia's aggression uh, and the war in Ukraine, particularly in areas of Bucha, Irpin, Mariupol. The Sunflowers for Ukraine event, organized by the Manitoba Provincial Council of the Ukrainian Canadian Congress, is a drop in event that encourages people to bring sunflowers flowers as a way to honor the lives lost in Ukraine. It's important for our community to continually hold events such as this and not just rallies but all sorts of demonstrations and vigils uh, in order to um, continually remind the community of what's happening in Ukraine uh, and to mobilize everybody to continue to donate funds uh, to write to their members of parliament and to engage in, in um, sort of what's going on. The recent massacre in Bucha, where an estimated 400 Ukrainian civilians were killed by Russian troops, has left the Ukrainian community in a state of sorrow. Well, this is a very tragic event and commemoration. Um, What's happening in Ukraine should not be happening. There's many people who are under horrible, horrific um, and tragic circumstances and this is a small way to uh, memorialize and commemorate uh, the loss of lives, particularly in Bukha, but all over Ukraine. I, I think these sunflowers that we're seeing today, the, the ones that we're looking at and that we're thinking about, it's all those lives that Ukraine has lost and they're really young people. They are people that are innocent, that haven't done anybody anything wrong and they have been butchered and that's what hurts so much. Tamara McCall with the Ukrainian Canadian Congress says this event represents a community that stands with Ukrainians and their fight for justice and human rights. We want to believe in, in victory. We want to believe that Ukraine will be prosperous and that all these people haven't died in vain. It's just so horrible to watch it happen. And we're here all together today with the sunflowers to remember them and to honor them and to hope that the world is watching and is going to help to stop it. A beacon of hope at a time when Ukrainians need it most. In Winnipeg, Brianna Marcelo, City News.